What happens when baseless conspiracy theories start controlling the societal narrative? Well, it gives birth to mass hysteria. What we're describing here is the satanic panic, a mass fear of and accusations against satanic cults committing abuse during 1980s America. Satanic panic has to be one of the most famous and prolonged mass media scares in history, which was characterized by media depictions of godless teenagers and the deviant music and media that they were consuming. We saw this recently in the show Stranger Things, where Eddie Munson, a high school student, was targeted by an entire town as a murderer simply because he was a Metallica fan and played Dungeons and Dragons. Conspiracy theories around the occurrences of physical and sexual abuse in the context of satanic worship, rituals and practices bubbled up, plunging the entire country in a state of widespread panic regarding something that was unfounded to a large degree. The New York Times says, even as cases slowly collapsed and skepticism prevailed, defendants went to prison, families were traumatized and millions of dollars were spent on prosecutions. Satanic panic affected many areas of social life and affected government workers dealing with formal complaints, lawyers and therapists dealing with the rehabilitation of trauma victims and the like. But what sparked it all? It was a book that started it all, written by Lawrence Pazder and his former patient Michelle Smith. Michelle remembers is written as an autobiography where Michelle recalls instances of child sexual abuse at the hands of Satan worshippers. Although the claims were repeatedly debunked, the book became a bestseller and all of a sudden a bomb of panic went off. Podcaster Sarah Marshall says the book gave people a villain to look for outside the family. Some social workers and police officers even adopted the book as a training text. The false narrative of Michelle Remembers in the 80s would directly impact the nation for over a decade. Historically, moral panic has been a part of several cultures, a prime example of which would be the witch hunts of 1700s and the burning of the Salem witches. During the 80s, the rise of conservative Christians, child abuse news, kidnaps and in fact, psychotherapy all contributed to satanic panic. But the crux of the matter is, unfounded fear and hysteria can actually ravage communities. Do you know about such mass panic stories? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.